The King James Bible, <clears throat> the first book of the Kings, chapter 13. And behold, there came a man of God out of Judah by the word of the Lord unto Bethel, and Jeroboam stood by the altar to burn incense. And he cried against the altar in the word of the Lord, and said, O altar, altar, thus saith the Lord, behold, a child small be born unto the house of David, Josiah by name, and upon thee shall he offer the priests of the high places that burn incense upon thee, and men's bones shall be burnt upon thee. And he gave a sign the same day, saying, This is a sign which the Lord hath spoken. Behold, the altar shall be rent, and the ashes that are upon it shall be poured out. And it came to pass, when King Jeroboam heard the saying of the man of God, which had cried against the altar in Bethel, and he put forth his hand from the altar, saying, Lay hold on him, and his hand, which he put forth against him, dried up, so that he could not pull it in again to him. The altar also was rent, and the ashes poured out from the altar, according to the sign which the man of God had given by the word of the Lord. And the king answered and said unto the man of God, Entreat now the face of the Lord thy God, and pray for me, that my hand may be restored me again. And the man of God besought the Lord, and the king's hand was restored him again, and became it as it became as it was before. And the king said unto the man of God, Come home with me, and refresh thyself, and I will give thee a reward. And the man of God said unto the king, If thou wilt give me half thine house, I will not go in with thee, neither will I eat bread nor drink water in this place. For so it was charged me by the word of the Lord, saying, Eat no bread, drink, nor drink water, nor turn again by the same way that thou comest. So he went another way, and returned not by the way he had come to Bethel. There, now there dwelt an old prophet in Bethel, and his sons came and told him all the works that the man of God had done that day in Bethel, the words which he had spoken unto the king, them they told also to their father. And their father said unto them, What way went he? For his sons in had seen what way the man of God went, which came from Judah. And he said unto his sons, Saddle me the ass. So they saddled him the ass, and he rode thereon. He went after the man of God, and found him sitting under an oak. And he said unto him, Art thou the man of God that comest from Judah? And he said, I am. Then he said unto him, Come home with me, and eat bread. And he said, I may not return with thee, nor go in with thee, neither will I eat bread nor drink water with thee in this place. <clears throat> For it was said to me by the word of the Lord, Thou shalt eat no bread, nor drink water there, nor turn again to go by the way that thou camest. He said also, He said unto him, I am a prophet, also as thou art. <clears throat> And an angel spake unto me by the word of the Lord, saying, Bring him back with thee into thine house, that he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied unto him. So he went back with him, and did eat bread in his house, and drank water. And it came to pass, as he sat at the table, that the word of the Lord came unto the prophet that brought him back. And he cried unto the man of God that came from Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, For as much as thou hast disobeyed the mouth of the Lord, and hast not kept the commandment which the Lord thy God commanded thee, he camest back, and hast eaten bread, and drunk water in the place, of that of the which the Lord did say to thee, Eat no bread, and drink no water, they, thy carcass shall not come unto the sepulchre of thy fathers. And it came to pass, after he had eaten bread, and after he had drunk, that he saddled for him the ass to wit, for the prophet whom he had brought back. And when he was gone, a lion met him by the way, and slew him, and his carcass was cast in the way, and the ass stood by it. The lion also stood by the carcass. And behold, men passed by, and saw the carcass cast in the way, and the lion standing by the carcass. And they came and told it in the city where the old prophet dwelt. And when the prophet that brought him back from the way heard thereof, he said that, it is the man of God, who was disobedient unto the word of the Lord. Therefore the Lord hath delivered him unto the lion, which hath torn him and slain him, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake unto him. And he spake to his sons, saying, Saddle me the ass. And they saddled him. And he went and found his carcass cast in the way, and the ass and the lion standing by the carcass. The lion had not eaten the carcass, nor torn the ass. 
and the prophet took up the carcass of the man of god and laid it upon the ass and brought it back and the old prophet came to the city to mourn and to bury him and he laid his carcass in his own grave and they mourned over him saying alas my brother and it came to pass after he had buried him that he spake to his son, saying, When I am dead, then bury me in the sepulchre wherein the man of God is buried, lay my bones beside his bones. For the saying which he cried by the word of the Lord against the altar in Bethel, and against all the houses of the high places which are in the cities of Samaria, shall surely come to pass. And after this thing Jeroboam returned not from his evil way, and made again of the lowest of the people priests and of the high places whosoever would he consecrated him and he became one of the priests of the high places and this thing became sin unto the house of jeroboam even to cut it off and to destroy it from off the face of the earth chapter fourteen and at that time abijah the son of jeroboam fell sick and jeroboam said to his wife arise i pray thee and disguise thyself, that thou not be known to the wife of Jeroboam, and get thee to Shiloh. Behold, there is Ahazah the prophet, which told me that I should be king over his people. And take with thee ten loaves and cracknels, and a curse of honey, and go to him, and he shall tell thee what shall become of the child. And Jeroboam's wife did so, and arose, and went to Shiloh, and came to the house of Ahazah, but Ahazah could not see, for his eyes were set by reason of his age. And the Lord said unto Ahazah, Behold, the wife of Jeroboam cometh to ask a thing of thee for her son, for he is sick. Thus and thus shalt thou say unto her, For it shall be when she cometh in that she shall feign herself to be another woman. And it was so that when Ahazah heard the sound of her feet as she came in at the door, that she, he said, Come in. Thou wife of Jeroboam, why feignest thou thyself to be another? For I am sent to, for I am sent to thee with heavy tidings. Go tell Jeroboam, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, for as much as I exalted thee from among the people and made thee prince over my people Israel, and rent the kingdom away from the house of David and gave it to thee, and yet thou hast not been as my servant David, who kept my commandments and followed me with all his heart to do that only which is right in mine eyes. But hast done evil above all that were before thee, and thou hast gone and made thee other gods, and molten images to provoke me to anger, and hast cast me behind thy back. Therefore, behold, I will bring evil upon the house of Jeroboam, and will cut off from Jeroboam him that pisseth against the wall, and him that is shut up and left in Israel, and will take away the remnant of the house of Jeroboam, as the man taketh away dung, till it be all gone. Him that dieth of Jeroboam in the city shall the dogs eat, and him that dieth in the field shall the fowls of the air eat, for the Lord hath spoken it. Arise thou therefore, get thee to thine own house, and when thy feet enter into the city, the child shall die. And all Israel shall mourn for him, and bury him, for he only of Jeroboam shall come to the grave, because in him there is found some good being, good thing toward the Lord, God of Israel, in the house of Jeroboam. Moreover, the Lord shall rise him up a king over Israel, who shall cut off the house of Jeroboam that day, but what, even now? For the Lord shall smite Israel as the reed is shaken in the water, and he shall root up Israel out of his good land, which he gave to their fathers, and shall scatter them beyond the river, because they have made their groves, provoking the Lord to anger. And he shall give Israel up because of the sins of Jeroboam, who did sin, and who made Israel to sin. And Jeroboam's wife arose and departed, and came to Terzah. And when she came to the threshold of the door, the child died, and they buried him, and all Israel mourned for him, according to the word of the Lord which he spake by the hand of his servant Ajah the prophet. And the rest of the acts of Jeroboam, now he warred, and how he reigned, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. And the days which Jeroboam reigned were two and twenty years, and he slept with his fathers, and Nadab his son reigned in his stead. And Rehoboam the son of Solomon reigned in Judah, 
Rehoboam was forty and one years when he began to reign, and he reigned seventeen years in Jerusalem, the city which the Lord did choose out of all the tribes of Israel to put his name there. And his mother's name was Nah. Nahama and, Am and Ammonitus, and Judah did evil in the sight of the Lord, and they provoked him to jealousy with their sins which they had committed, above all that their fathers had done, for also they built them high places and images and groves on every hill and under every green tree, and there were also Sodomites in the land, and they did according to all the abominations of the nations which the Lord cast out before the children of Israel. And it came to pass in the fifth year of King Rehoboam that Shishak, king of Egypt, came up against Jerusalem. And he took away the treasures of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house. And he even took away all, and he took away all the shields of gold which Solomon had made. And King Rehoboam made in the stead brazen shields and committed them unto the hands of the chief of the guard, which kept the door of the king's house. And it was so when the king went into the house of the Lord that the guard bare them and brought them back into the guard chamber. Now the rest of the acts of Rehoboam and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? And there was war between Rehoboam and Jeroboam all their days. And Rehoboam slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David. And his mother's name was Nama, an Amor and Ammonitus, and Ab Abijam the son reigned in his stead. 